mysterious man from Torred. We go to Japan this time, but in the 1950s, where a man showed up at an airport and asked by customs officials where he came from, the man simply replied, Torred. To this day, some people take the story as evidence of time travel or parallel universes. In case you're wondering what makes this story unusual, there is no country by the name of Torred, either today or during the 1950s. The story ends with the man disappearing a day after arriving in Japan and leaving no trace. All of his personal documents, such as his passport and driver's license, also disappeared. It was a hot day when this man arrived at Haneda Airport, also known as Tokyo International Airport. He was described as Caucasian with a beard. Whilst his primary language is said to have been French, accounts claim that he spoke Japanese and many other languages as well. The man handed over his passport for stamping, and that was when the Japanese immigration officer noticed something strange. Whilst the passport looked authentic, the country where it was issued, Torred, was recognized as non-existent by both the officer and his colleagues. The man from Torred was therefore taken away for interrogation. According to the traveler, Torred was a place between France and Spain and had by then been in existence for 1,000 years. And when given a map, the man from Torred pointed to the area occupied by the Principality of Andorra and was surprised to see his country with a different name on the map. Both sides refused to give in. The Japanese officers insisted that Torred did not exist and the traveler maintained otherwise. Whilst they conducted their investigation, they locked him up in a hotel room nearby with two guards stationed outside his room. The next morning, however, when the officers went to check on him, the man from Torred had mysteriously disappeared. How would you feel if you woke up one day and realized you were suddenly back with your ex and had a completely different job? Lorena Garcia found herself in another dimension in 2008 when she woke up one morning. The then 41-year-old said the traumatic experience had her fearing people would think she was suffering from a psychotic episode. The first change was a very simple one. The sheets on her bed were different. This confused her, of course, but she didn't give him much thought. There was another change when she arrived at work later that day that caused her to truly question her reality. She found her office had changed, but a few checks confirmed to her it was her own, but it was now in another department and she was reporting to a director she didn't know. Garcia asked for time off and visited a doctor who found nothing wrong with her, suggesting she was hallucinating as a result of stress, but she wasn't convinced. It would have get worse when she realized she was suddenly with her ex-boyfriend again. Her current boyfriend just vanished. To convince herself, she hired a detective who found no trace of the boyfriend, even though she supplied her boyfriend's name, address, workplace, and even where he studied. Garcia also remembered her sister had surgery on her arm, but her family, the sister included, had no such memory. Could Garcia have somehow landed in a parallel universe where she went back in time? A highway in Seville. A man named Pedro Oliver Ramirez allegedly took one wrong turn and changed his entire life. Well, his dimension definitely did. This happened in Spain on November 9, 1986. This is one of the most popular and widespread claims of interdimensional travel out there. Ramirez was driving along a typical route. He was on his way home to Alcalá de Guadaria from work in a city we know as Seville. He then realized he was passing through a very odd part of the road that he had never previously seen or paid attention to. An eerie six-lane highway appeared before him, but he did not recognize it at all. On the side of this road, he spotted a tall building he had never seen before, despite the fact that he had been traveling on this route on a daily basis for a while now. During the first part of this route, everything had seemed normal, but as soon as he passed a curve, the surroundings entirely changed. He observed a plane about 100 meters away, and there were five or six industrial buildings there. Each one was around 8 meters tall and was fully illuminated. On the other side were residential buildings with about 20 plants each, and at the edge of the road was dense grass. After realizing the absolute change in his surroundings, he felt a sensation of heat invading his vehicle and started hearing a choir or distant voices. According to the tale, these voices told him that he had been transferred to a different hemisphere. He didn't know what to do and just kept driving until he came across an intersection having signs pointing in three different directions. He took one of the roads assuming he was headed back towards Seville, but out of nowhere, his car came to a sudden halt. He looked out the window 
and saw that he was in front of his home. He was annoyed by what happened and decided to retrace his steps. While investigating, he realized that the usual route between his house and Seville took about half an hour. But that night, it took him three hours and five minutes to get back home. His car had consumed fuel equivalent to 200 kilometers. Ramirez never managed to find his way back to the six-lane highway, probably because it's an entirely different dimension, and the portal to that dimension is probably closed forever.